In this video, we'll take a look at the CHEM module for the 6800 MPP phones, also known as the 3PCC phones. This phone is registered to WebEx calling. And right now, we're looking at the connection type that the key expansion module has, which is a RJ11 style cable. It is a custom cable specifically for this CHEM module. And this is what actually tells the phone there's a CAM module attached to it. So we take a close look at it. You notice is there's very little slack. So this is a custom cable that comes with the CAM module for the 6800 series phone. As you'll notice in a few moments, there's no settings in the actual LCD menu of the phone that need to be done as far as enabling the CAM module. So right now we're going to actually boot up the phone. This phone was factor reset a few moments ago. It is already configured in WebEx calling per the MAC address of the phone. And we're going to allow it to boot up. So this will be kind of like a first boot up time with the phone registering to WebEx calling. The phone does have updated firmware. So it's currently running MPP firmware 11.3.7 SR1 service release one. As the recording of this video, this is the latest firmware. And we'll give it a few moments to initialize. Uh, typically, when you're onboarding a phone to WebEx calling, the initial handshaking does take a few minutes. The first time a phone comes up, you'll notice the date and time may be wrong. That is okay. That's what you just noticed right now. And eventually the date and time will be updated. So you notice it's October 5th and it is not October 5th right now and it is not 1.07 a.m. However, we should see that updated here in a few moments. In any case, when it's doing the onboard, the phone is onboarding and handshaking. Uh, some other things you may notice is also the firmware updates occur. This phone does not need any firmware updates. I've already updated the phone, but uh, in any case, okay, it looks like the um, LCD just went off. Let me go ahead and toggle it back on so we can actually see a little bit better, okay? And we should see some configurations pushed to the phone as far as like the username, the phone number, et cetera, et cetera. So this initial onboarding typically does take a few minutes. If the phone you're onboarding, okay, so the phone number has showed up, okay, it's showing that the accessory disconnected, okay, so it's going to still do some additional auto detecting there. Okay, so it says initializing network. And if you notice the actual keyboard or key expansion module is doing initialization on the right hand side. So if you notice like gear symbol rotating there. And the biggest difference is with the 6800 series, there's nothing in the actual menu of the phone itself that you need to actually enable to have the cam come on. With the 8800 series, there is actually a setting that needs to be applied within the LCD menu of the phone. With the 6800, there is no such setting. Okay, so we have the username, phone number, date, and time. So at this point of time, the next item that we need to look at is going to be actually in the menu, just to see what the phone is showing for the keyboard or for the key expansion module. So what we'll do here, okay, let me get the LCD back on, is we'll take a look at the actual settings. So I press the gear button, we're going to go down the menu. And we're going to go under status and then we're going to go down to the accessories. And then if we notice there's a tenant console unit one that's been detected, I'll hit details. And then we're just going to look at some general information, it shows the software version, serial number here, which I've blurred out because of obvious reasons, the actual product name. So this is a CP-6800. CAM, so keyboard expansion module for the 6800 series phones, okay? So now we're going to configure a speed dial. 
So I'm going to hold down the first line up here and send a cam. We get this menu for the speed dial. So I'm going to select speed dial. I'm going to configure the label. So to keep this simple, I'm just going to give it the actual name of the extension, the speed dial extension that I'm creating. So this would be 2017. And then I'm going to enter the actual number for the speed dial. So it'll be the same thing, 2017. And then we're going to save this setting. Okay. So if we go ahead and press on the 2017 speed dial on the chem. Okay, so that was a quick test there just to make sure everything's working. Okay, so the next thing we'll take a look at here, we're going to hit the settings button again. We're going to go down to status, product information. So the phone we have right now is a 6851 3PCC. And then we're going to look at the firmware. 11-3-7 MPP, as I mentioned before. And then let's look at the actual product number for the CAM, CP-6800-CAM-3PCC. The actual phone is a CP-6851-3PCC. In any case, hopefully this video has helped you with configuring the CAM module for the 6800 series phones. Thank you for watching.